Hi, Ted Padova here again. In this video, I want to talk to you about calculating math operations and all the ways that we can do that in Acrobat. So, as you can see on screen here, I have a series of different fields and a variety of different calculation methods. So, let's walk through this so we can get an understanding of all that's available to you in Acrobat. You can see that the first column over here, what I have are fields with unique names. So I have some 1, some 2, some 3, some 4. Now, when I calculate these, I can use Acrobat's built-in calculation formula, and you can see that all I do is select each one of these fields individually. You have to select every field in the group in order to create this calculation. Okay, if I click on pick, you can see that a list of my fields appears in this scrollable list, and I have a check mark by each one of these fields, and that sums the total. Now, when we use hierarchical names, we can do this a little simpler, because if I select total over here, you see that I have a single name, and that's basically the parent name. I've got higher name.0.1.2.3, all separated by a period. So if I click on pick over here, you can see that as I scroll down, I've got a check mark only by higher name, not by all four of those individual fields, and that also produces a total. The next column is simplified field notation. Now, simplified field notation cannot use hierarchical names. You must use individual unique names in order to use simplified field notation. If I select simplified field notation in my calculate properties up here, you can see that I have the field name plus the field name plus the field name. I have to individually type these in. There's not a list to pick from. And that simplified field notation, which behaves very similar to the way we create calculations in spreadsheet programs. Now, the last item is JavaScript. And by far, this is the easiest way, once you learn a little bit of JavaScript, or even if you just copy and paste scripts into fields, this is a very easy way to calculate. Notice that there's only a few lines of code here. In this script, basically what we set up an array and we loop through this array for the length of the array, which is the number of total fields. And in the end, we create a sum and that sum value is deposited here in the total field. Event value equals sum is placing the, that calculation right here in this field. Now, if you have a page that has 100 fields on it and you're going to sum a total of all those fields. This script is going to work identical regardless of how many fields you have in a column. Okay, so let's move over now to subtraction. With subtraction, you don't have any built-in Acrobat formulas. You've got to use either one of two methods, simplified field notation or JavaScript. So simplified field notation, you'll notice that we have the name of one field minus the name of another field, and that simply subtracts one field from another. In JavaScript, we have to assign a variable to each one of the individual fields, and then in the end, we're going to subtract one value from the other and it's quite simple. When we take a look at multiplication, we have an operation in Acrobat to produce a product. I basically pick the two fields that I want to multiply from my list here. You can see that I've got Acro X1, Acro X2. These are individually named, unique names, and we create a product of these. If I move over to the hierarchical names over here, you'll notice that I can only perform this operation in either Acrobat's built-in formulas or JavaScript. I can't use simplified field notation because we can't use hierarchical names to simplified field notation. So you can see that this is just the sum of basically the same as what we have over here. A unique name or a hierarchical name behaves the same way. If I come over to simplified field notation, 
then the field names have to be unique names. And over here you can see that I have two fields and an asterisk here indicating the multiplication symbol uh, to multiply these two values. And then finally we have a JavaScript here. And basically what I'm doing is assigning a variable to each one of the fields and then for the event value, which is placing the product in the same field where the calculation is performed, I'm taking my F value and multiplying it times my G value, which are the variables that I assigned above. In division, we don't have Acrobat available with a built-in formula, just the same as subtraction. Both of these two math operations cannot be performed up here in Acrobat's uh, calculation formulas. So what we can do is use one of two other methods, either simplified field notation or JavaScript. In simplified field notation, once again, you have to have unique names, and basically we take one field and divide it by the other, and quite simply, that formula you can see right here, just separated by the division symbol. In JavaScript, if I take a look at the JavaScript over here, once again, I get variable names. I assign variable names to each one of the fields and take one value and divide it by the other. Quite simple. Now, we can add a little more complexity and combine some of these formulas, as you can see some of the things that I have down here in the bottom portion of this form. Over in the, uh, the first column, I'm taking a tax rate of 8.75%. And by the way, each one of these are all JavaScripts because to deal with complex formulas, you're going to have to get into JavaScript. So if I double click on this value here and go to edit, you can see that I have, once again, a loop to loop through and create a sum. And then I take that sum and I multiply it times my tax rate, which is 8.75%. In the next field over, let's cancel that. Let's go over to the next field and take a look at this. I want to go to subtotal here first. In subtotal, what I'm doing is just basically going through and looping through these fields and creating a sum here. Then I come down and look at creating a tax value with a rate of 8.25% on this field or the subtotal field. Then I have a shipping amount and over here I'm taking the subtotal and multiplying it times the shipping rate which is 7% and then in the bottom over here you'll notice that I have hierarchical names I've got a dot ship a dot ship a dot ship uh, sub tax and amount there and what I'm doing is creating another array and this time I'm just using this uh, parent name a which is the prefix for each one of these fields and calculating my sum total here. So you can see how you can begin to make this a little bit easier by some of the JavaScripts. Over in the next column, I've got a total minus a discount. So basically in this field, what I'm doing is I'm summing up the total and creating a sum value here and I'm multiplying that times 0.12, which is 12%. And then in the next field, I'm taking that value and I'm adding it to my total. So I have 8% uh, applied to the discount value uh, for my tax. And let's see, we'll take a look at the preview over here. You can see that the total here is the discount applied and then the tax added to it. Let's go back to edit and take a look at the final field over here. And this one is a little more complicated. It's got, once again, a loop. We're creating a loop to loop through each one of these fields. Once again, they're parent-child names. Then we want to take the percent, which is, you can see that this math round sum over here is uh, calculating the percent, and I'm taking the sum of that, and I'm subtracting the discount from it. Now, the thing that you want to keep in mind is you don't have to memorize these JavaScripts. The best thing you can do is to take 
a form like this and I'm adding this form, a URL link to it in the description in this video where you can download and you can keep these formulas as a separate file and just go in and copy them. So let's say I want to create a sum of a column. If all I have to do is come over here and select a field, right click to open a context menu, and I'm going to copy and I'll come over to another form over here. You can see that I have a form that I've got a total column over here. So I want to sum the total over here. So I'm going to paste my field in and not, not going to worry about the script yet because what I'm going to do is I need to create these total fields. So what I'm going to do is just I'll duplicate this field because it's got formatting applied to it that I want to use. And I'm going to change the name and I'm going to call this item total. And what we're going to do is let Acrobat create the fields. I've got 10 rows here. And Acrobat is automatically going to populate this with parent-child names. So if I right click and choose create multiple copies, I want to go 10 down. I've got one across and click OK and we'll take the bottom field down here and select this column and we're going to distribute these vertically so right click align distribute or center and distribute vertically now my parent name is item total here so what I'm going to do is go to this field that I uh, got to put down here Okay, let's uh, think I, I didn't have that uh, moved yet, so I'm going to distribute again. Okay, there we go. Now I'm going to come down to, this is the field that I pasted into this document. I'm going to open the uh, field properties. I'm going to go over to the Calculate tab, and I'm going to edit this JavaScript. And the only thing I have to do is take this name, item total, and replace JS sum over here. So I'll just go item total, highlight it, and then I'll type over it item total. That's the parent name. I'm going to click OK. And now I'm going to close and we'll add some values here. And you can see that I have the value that's being uh, calculated, the sum here, and apparently I've got uh, I've got the property set up where these uh, field values are not shown here, so I would have to go back and and uh, make those visible. But the but the point is that this value down here is being calculated properly, and all I did was copy and paste those fields in this document. So. Take a look at this, tear it apart, take a look at the JavaScripts, take a look at the fields, and when you have a need and you can't remember a script syntax, then just go ahead and copy and paste these fields into your documents. So once again, this is Ted Padova wishing you all the best in all your forms creation activities.